suspense, Amadeus. Time pieces for expressive hands, handcrafted Swiss quartz. Ultra thin, water resistant. A great performance by Raymond Weil, worthy of the name Amadeus. There's never been a better time for Amadeus. The Raymond Wilde collections are available at Tourneau. Chloe is romance. Chloe is flowers. Chloe, the glorious fragrance by Karl Lagerfeld. Spray it on anywhere. Touch it on everywhere. Revel in it day or night. Enter the world of Chloe from Parfum Lagerfeld, Paris. You will never want to leave. Chloe, this minute at AMS. Terrific. Welcome back to PM Magazine. You know, serving hot, delicious cider is just another one of the ways that they put you into the holiday spirit down at the South Street Seaport, and you can get this hot cider through January 1st. Don't drink it too fast. You're driving, all right? You know, in the next few days, the busiest man on earth will be Santa Claus, right? Well, recently he took a little vacation to rest up for the big day. Well, you know, one of the ways that Santa likes to relax is to lay in the sun and go for a swim. But even in his bathing suit, kids know who he is. If you believe, if you really believe, then anything is possible. Did you know that Santa Claus loves to ride the merry-go-round? That he likes to swim. And of course, we all know that he lives at the North Pole. But the real Santa C. Claus lives in North Pole, New York. Yes, he lives in a candy-colored house, and there are even some lucky That's children right. who live next door to him. They confirmed the address. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus lives here. Santa Claus. I'm sure it's Santa Claus. His house was surrounded by elves, and inside, shh, the toy room was packed full of goodies waiting for Christmas. But Santa was leaving. He was on his way to Maryland for vacation. Well, when I'm busy at Christmas, there's very little time to talk to children except to say hello and ask them for their list. And vacation time is a time to take the extra time. It takes a while to uh, get the things ready for Christmas. Then you take a breather and you start going again. You know that he knows if you're naughty or nice. So it's always good to be prepared for Santa's visit. <laughs> Are you really the real Santa Claus? Pinch me. Ouch! Yeah, I guess I'm real. Well, they want to believe, but they're afraid. Hey, Santa Claus! Hi, Santa! How you doing? Good to see you. Hmm. You know, Santa brings smiles to so many people, and he's recognized wherever he goes. And yet, some people don't believe in him. He must have the wrong idea about Santa. Some lady looked at me, she says, what are you selling? What are you promoting? And I said, uh, Christmas. She says, Christmas? I said, the right kind of Christmas, based on love. And his mission is to bring us these good feelings 365 days a year. But it's not an easy job. Oh, I have my peaks and my valleys. I'm human. Sometimes I, uh, I've taken on more than I can chew. That's why I wish I could do all things I can't. We all need to be turned on for smiles. It's a very difficult job to do, but it needs to be done. Yes, it does, but unfortunately it doesn't pay the rent. It takes money to make sure that there's postage stamps on the letters for Christmas. <coughs> you have to make sure that uh, uh, there's money to pay the electric bill. And so there are means by which Santa, Santa Claus uh, helps supplement his income. And one of them, for some reason, I have an unusual face, and so I do modeling. Besides modeling in his busy, busy schedule, why even Santa's vacation is just a little bit of work, keeping up with all the latest toys. I'm making my list and checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. It seems that wherever this jolly old man goes, it always comes back to that same question. Are you real? 
Well, even the government knows that Santa needs an official passport with his legal name on it so that he can visit all those countries on Christmas Eve. And the children are finding that he also needs a license to drive that four-wheeled sleigh of his. So you are the real Santa? Oh, most definitely. Of course it is. And these kids were lucky enough to get his special Christmas message. I think it's good to believe in Santa Claus because he believes in you and you should believe in him. I think that he brings joy to people just by thinking about him and he spreads love all over the world just by being what he is. See you at Christmas! Next up, meet a master at painting masterpieces. You've been traded, Road Aids. For acid and gas, your performance is not up to tempo. Sorry, but you're fired, Maylox. You don't work hard enough. I'm switching to tempo. Our relationship is over, Tums. I found someone better. Tempo. For better relief from acid and gas, people everywhere are switching to Tempo. Its soft form holds 75% more acid-relieving medicine than Rolaids. And soft Tempo dissolves fast. Switch to better relief. Switch to soft Tempo. I'm glad I found you. Tis the season to be giving, not haggling. So come to Lafayette Circuit City. People everywhere are singing the praises of our no-haggle policy, incredible selection, and low guaranteed prices. An RCA 19-inch color TV with wireless remote, just $288. This Sony portable cassette recorder, just $54. Come to Lafayette Circuit City. Don't be left out in the cold. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. <clears throat> Exclusively at Bloomingdale's. I'd give anything for another whiff of cocoa. Just in time. Just what you're looking for. And just wait till you see the ANS prices. This Fisher Compact Digital Disc Player. The gift of the season with LED readout. Just $199 at ANS. This Sony Stereo Cassette to Go. Detachable speakers. Just $99 at ANS. This Fisher 15 watt compact stereo. Dual deck. Five band equalizer. Just $249. Just in time. Just what you're looking for. Just hurry up. ANS. Terrific. Welcome back to PM Magazine, still here at the South Street Seaport, and one of the nicest things about coming down here at night is, well, take a look behind us. The Beautiful. skyline of downtown Manhattan resembles a Christmas tree itself. It really is a pretty sight. Now, in our next story, we'll take you to meet Zach Harvey. He was a young artist trying to find his own style. Well, Zach decided if he couldn't find his own style, he would paint in many styles, and today he makes art out of art forgery. Here's Pam Thompson with the story. studio of Jacques Harvey. You may not recognize his name, but his paintings will look familiar to you, right down to the signature. Picasso, Van Gogh, Renoir, Monet, some of the most famous artists ever to apply paint to canvas, and Harvey, probably the most notable contemporary artist dealing in the lucrative world of art forgery. Jacques Harvey paints fakes of art masterpieces. He doesn't try to produce exact copies, although he says he can, but rather paints in the style of other artists, always altering minor details, changing a color or a facial expression, while always carefully mimicking the original style. Original or fake? Judge for yourself. This is a photograph of an original Monet. Here, Jacques painting in the style of. You may notice some differences in the shape of trees or ripples on the water. Other than that, quite exact. Incidentally, this almost completed Harvey is one of several belonging to Lucille Ball. Here, a photograph of an original Matisse and the Harvey interpretation. Again, very similar. Only some subtle differences in length and thickness of hair and more pronounced colors. So similar, in fact, that experts can tell them apart only by testing the age of the canvas and paints. 
But Jacques Harvey maintains he isn't trying to fool anyone. He keeps careful records of his works and attaches a proof of purchase to each painting. Here is a Modigliani. Here is a Modigliani. But, of course, on the back is not any longer Modigliani, is a Jacques Harvey. Now, if you're asking, is this legal, the answer is yes. Jacques always uses new canvas and paint, but there are those who have tried to convince him to use his skills illegally. A lot of people come to see me and say, listen, I have a whole piece of canvas at home. I can't use it for nothing, you know. May you paint me, by example, a Cezanne, but I want exactly a good Cezanne, you know, looking exactly Cezanne. I always say no. are full of fakes. Our gallery are full of fakes. I don't try to, uh, to sell paintings, fake paintings, to make a lot of money. I try to sell paintings in the style of the other artist to make people happy. Well, the price of happiness can be very high. A Harvey will cost between five and $40,000. But money alone won't get you one. His clientele is pretty exclusive. Aristotle Onassis, Lucille Ball, the Shah of Iran, Gene Kelly, Wayne Rogers, and many he won't reveal their secret. Jacques sees himself as providing a service. His paintings, in the style of, are really bringing a Picasso or Monet of age, and as he sees it, extending their influence and continuing what they would have done. But the real bottom line is who could really afford the originals, even if they were available. This group, if real, would cost over $25 million, making the fakes look more original than ever. Now, just three weeks ago, Zach may have created the world's largest art forgery. You see, he painted five billboards in Los Angeles with the samples of the works of 36 artists. Now, when we come back, we'll meet an actor who proves dreams can come true. Don't go away. Break free and...